Natasha and Veronica know everything. I want to point out that today I have on my jacket. It's for a pain in my ass to obtain. And Jen Barnes is not part of Gucci. No, I like it. She likes it. So does Shanna, who didn't want one either, but it's not her wearing it. So. Anyways, today we're doing ankle injuries. Um, so to begin with, we have the lateral malleolus fracture. This is going to be the most common fracture that you see with the malleolus or with the ankle injuries. Um, again, with a lot of these, you're going to be able to identify them on x-ray. But one big thing with the lateral malleolus fracture is you have to know the Weber classification. So there are three types. There's A, B, and C. So A, here you have the fibula. You can see that there's a fracture there. So this is going to be a fib fracture below the syndesmosis. Um, and with this, they can be in a walking cast for about six to eight weeks. Um, if it is displaced or unstable, you would want to do surgery. We then have type B. So this is a fib fracture above the syndesmosis. And you have a widening, which would be right around here. Again, you'll see this on your x-ray. This will need surgery. And then you have the type C. This is just going to be like crazy, lots of fractures going on, syndesmosis very widened, it's very unstable, and they are going to need surgery. So now we're going to go ahead and move down to a medial malleolar fracture. With this, you want to be aware of associated injuries. So you have a masonube and a ducoutrins. Remember this as manus and ducouti. It says masonube, just read it. Um, we also have a very nice x-ray I can show you here. Um, so this is going to the mason new fracture, so. So it's a spiral proximal fibular fracture due to rupture of the distal, tala, blah, 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 as a result of distal medial malleolar fracture and or deltoid ligament rupture. So it's medial mal plus fibular fracture and then plus or minus. Um, so wait, it's medial mal or deltoid ligament plus fibula. So yeah, I've, okay, you explain so, that. So yeah, we got kind of confused when it came to these, so that's kind of where we're all over the place. So the way we broke it down was mayonnaise is medial mal plus fib, or it could be medial mal and deltoid ligament. Fib plus deltoid. Fib plus deltoid. <laughs> it doesn't matter for this video, because we're not going to get it. Anyways, um, just to reiterate this, medial mal, just know that it's associated to mayonnaise and dipudis, and you always have to x-ray or palpate the proximal fib because that's typically where the association comes in. Uh, treatment is gonna immobilize initially and they are gonna need surgery, so you're gonna kinda get that um, immersion consult. So now we're gonna go ahead and jump down to our non-bony ankle injuries. Um, the first one's Achilles tendon rupture. So um, we learned this, you do the Thompson test, that's when you have the patient put their leg on the chair and you just kinda ensure that their leg moves when you um, squeeze their calf. So it's a non-weight bearing um, injury, and then you're gonna do an equinus splint, and then you're gonna go ahead and do surgery after that. So the next one's going to be your ankle sprain. This is essentially just a torn ligament. The most common ligament with this is going to be the ATFL, so it's gonna be important to know for your exam. Um, it breaks down into grades. You have grade one, two, and three. Grade one is going to be the ATF, ATFL tenderness. Usually it's a quick recovery. Type two is the AT, ATFL and the CFL tenderness without lateral instability, and it's usually a longer recovery. You then have type three, which is an ATFL C and CFL tenderness with lateral instability, and this is always gonna be surgery. Treatment overall is going to be price, so productive, so you're gonna do like a cast, um, rest, eyes, compression, and elevation. So again, we went over ankle injuries today, and that's all, thanks for tuning in. So, to clarify, masonuve is a fibular fracture plus one of the following, a deltoid ligament or um, medial malleolar, so they're both like right there.